Good afternoon and welcome. My name is John. I am off in Car Garage and I'm located in Abington and that's in the state of Massachusetts and we're about 30 minutes south of Boston. You might have been able to figure out already that we've sort of been dabbling with some later model fun stuff recently, try to broaden our uh, horizons here at OCG and it's been pretty successful so far. I'm going to stick to the niche cars, the cars that are fun. You won't see any Camrys or Accords here or minivans, but well, maybe a Caravan Turbo or something from 1989, but that would be about as far as I go on a minivan. But uh, here in front of us, we've got a really cool car from 1997 from the defunct Pontiac division. Shed a tear, have a moment of silence here for the Pontiac division. Um, unfortunately, it's a, it's a division that G GM let go of. And uh, to this day, I'm still trying to figure out why. But cars like this were being produced at, at the uh, height of their sales success. They were the uh, cars that built excitement, I believe was their advertising slogan and I can see why here we have a 1997 Firebird this is not a Trans Am but it has a lot of Trans Am look about it as you go around we go around you'll see that with a spoiler and the chrome wheels this is actually a 3.8 v6 car with an automatic transmission so makes it very very uh, drivable for daily use in nice weather this car too as an added bonus, only has about 48,000 or just under 49,000 original miles. This car has obviously been babied and well cared for its entire life, of which it's spent in the state of Texas. We have a clean Carfax report that shows the ownership history in the Lone Star State. Bright red with a camel power convertible top, and I will put that top down for you in a minute. The uh, original window sticker was still in the glove box. These chrome wheels were like a $600 option, and I think they absolutely set off this car beautifully. And while we're talking about the wheels, every one of them is in almost perfect condition. No curb scratches, no peeling, no corrosion. We never find that here in the Northeast. These wheels up here corroded like crazy from the road salt and the uh, road conditions. No curb scratches, no, no nothing. All four of them just look as good as the other. The original bright red paint on this car is absolutely stunning with just a handful of small flaws. A couple little nicks there. We haven't touched anything up. A couple of nick right there. I mean, that's as far as it goes and that's being nitpicky. Look at the plastic nose on this car. It's perfect. Absolutely beautiful. No cracks, no scrapes. This car has obviously been ex very well loved by its owners down in the Lone Star State. As we go around, you'll see, obviously there's no rust on this car. I don't even have to mention that, having spent its whole life in Texas. But look at that. A lot of times up here, you see these wheel opener moldings get bubbly. Not so here, not on this car. The convertible top. When this car got here, I thought it was brand new. I don't think it's brand new. I think it's original. It's absolutely Perfect. These little dimples are because I just had the top down taking some photos photos for the website, which you're going to want to check out, wolfencargarage.com. Full photo gallery of this car there. So anything you see here with wrinkles, it's because I had the top down just about an hour ago. Sport mirrors in great shape. I'm going to get inside now. I'm going to show you the inside of the car. They call this color taupe. And the bucket seats are just as nice as the exterior of this car. Door panels, carpeting, power windows, power mirrors, power locks, optional leather interior. I think that was about an $800 option. And you've got some lumbar adjustments there that came with that package. Turn off the chime. The upgraded stereo, which also I think was a $200 option on the window sticker with the CD player, which does operate and air conditioning which blows cold automatic transmission power top you've got airbags on both sides that's what's great about these later model fun cars you've got the modern day safety features like disc brakes and airbags abs in some cases nice headliner inside the convertible top individual bucket seats in the back adults might be a little unhappy back there for a long term driving but kids will certainly be happy fire it up for you now we'll put the top down i'll show you the engine and the trunk so i don't get reprimanded for not showing the trunk 
because I have been reprimanded by not showing the trunk. 48,897 on the miles. Two latches, make sure there's nothing in the back well, and put the top down. We do have the three-piece boot for this. It's a hard plastic boot, and it's in the trunk with its original storage compartment, and I'll show you that as well. Yeah, I popped it. Looks pretty with the top down. Looks even better when the boot is on. Check out the website, orphancargarage.com. You'll see pictures of the top down with the boot installed. Here's that 3.8 V6. Certainly potent enough. There's enough room there for two more cylinders if you want to add two more cylinders, I suppose. But for me, at this stage in the game, I'm happy just to cruise down the road at the speed limit. Very nice running car. We had it fully serviced when it arrived here. There wasn't much this car needed. But anything that it did need, including a fresh oil change, we did. Very sharp car. Again, those chrome wheels. One last walk around and I'll open the trunk for you. Smooth running V6. Easier on the insurance rates. Easier at the gas pump. Everyone will think it's a Trans Am by the way it looks. Keyless remote too, with two with two remotes, and I know at least one of them works. Probably check the battery in the other one. Here's the trunk for all you trunk lovers out there. This is the boot for the convertible top in its original satchel. There's the original floor mats, and what appears to be some sort of padding, matching carpeting for the trunk. Here's factory, so I left it there. Nice enough trunk for a weekend, a couple weekend bags. Again, very clean. You're not gonna find any rust on this car whatsoever. Look at that. So there you have it. Orphan Car Garage pulled another one out of their hat with this 1997 Firebird convertible with just 48,000 miles on it. Some really cool options like those chrome wheels and the leather interior package. Orphan Car Garage pricing on this Firebird, $10,900. Just $10,900 if you need this car transported. Look me up, shoot me a message. I'll give you a quick quote. Just shoot me your zip code. Let me know where you are and I'll do my best to get you a fast, easy quote. It's probably less money than you think. Don't let distance stand in your way. If you're looking for cool, fun cars like this, they're not always in your backyard. Check out our reviews online. We do our best to keep everybody happy. We gotta sleep at night. Give me a call, 508-954-8090, orphancargarage.com. Like us here on Facebook, uh, on Facebook. Like us here on YouTube and subscribe, but also like us on Facebook. We're there and uh, the cars usually get posted there pretty quick, right at around the same time they hit our website. So I don't imagine this car is gonna last long. They build up. Just over 30,000 Firebirds in 1997. How many of them were convertibles? I don't know. How many of them survived? And how many of them survived this nicely? Give me a call. Thanks, and until the next time.